brace yourselves. The comments of disapproval and fanboys are coming in and they are coming in fast. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? My name is Brendan Gozerar and today we're going to be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh my goodness, this has got to be one of the most hyped Marvel movies of all time. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 kind of just came out of nowhere and just kind of blasted us in the face with just a lot of surprise and we really didn't know what to expect of this movie because we didn't have time to expect it. Now a lot of weight is being put on the second one and in some cases the second one falls short. The arc of Star-Lord and his father was probably the most driven story aspect of the entire movie. It focused like 90% of the movie is bonding time with dad. A lot of the emotion has to do with like family and that aspect, family and people that aren't really like blood and related to you, but just like a lot of family. Family. And it really bums me to say, but a lot of the other characters, Drax, Groot, Rocket, Gamora, like everybody that you know and love just kind of seemed thrown in there for the sake of being Guardians of the Galaxy. You get some like really hard-hitting emotional scenes with some of the characters like other than Star-Lord and uh, Ego, but for the most part it just kind of seemed crammed. Oh my goodness, Drax? He had some incredible comic relief. I think that in this movie, he was funnier than Rocket Raccoon. That's saying a lot. He really stole the show when it came to comic relief. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, it was very hard-hitting emotionally, it was very hard-hitting action, it was very hard-hitting comic relief, it was very hard-hitting just storyline. But this one seems to really, they were like, the people that made the movie were like, hey, the comic relief of this movie worked. Let's focus everything on that and just throw everything in out later. What we need in this movie is comic relief. They didn't really pay attention to everything else that we love. Like, there was a lot of action scenes. A lot of action scenes. And when they did have action scenes, oh my god. That was amazing. Those action scenes, like, they had me on the edge of my seat. When it did happen, it, it was just, most of it was comic relief. I mean, that was most of the movie. It was like a sitcom about... Guardians of the Galaxy. Baby Groot was as adorable as expected. I don't know how you put so much emotion in a little tree guy that just says, my name is Groot, 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 Groot. But the thing is like, no matter what he's saying, I think it has part, well, a lot of it has to do with uh, Rocket Raccoon interpreting what he's saying. But there's just so much emotion in his facial features and just, you really fall in love with Groot all over again as Baby Groot, and he is a feisty little fellow, let me tell you. He is, I don't wanna mess with him. <laughs> they did an amazing job depicting Thanos as a big, bad, burly, just like, overall, bully. And just, like, you know that this guy is bad. But a lot of his backstory and a lot of the reason why you know that this guy is trouble is because of Nebula's backstories and like all the stories that she shares about him and like just recollections of times with Thanos and you really get to feel through Nebula's like intense like emotion and just you really get to see how much crap that Thanos has put Nebula through and she really helped the story move along I just kind of wish that she didn't look like she was constipated the entire time for the most part she was an amazing amazing strong character and she really just helped you depict the image of Thanos. Mantis was an amazing character too. She provided a lot of like sensitivity and a lot of like good setups for amazing jokes told in the story. Yondu was an extremely amazing character as well. Like I would not mind a solo movie about Yondu. I could sit through an entire movie of Yondu. There's so much that I want to know about Yondu that I really didn't get to know here, but he was one of the strongest characters. I, I, I want a solo movie of Yondu, honestly. Like, he was one of the most interesting characters of all of them. I don't think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 would have been as great as it was without Yondu. Kurt Russell was perfect for this movie. He did an amazing uh, depiction of Ego. Kurt Russell really, really, really fits in with the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe and I'm really glad that they picked him as uh, Ego because he did, he, he was marvelous. Now if you're thinking that this review is like all over the place and I'm not like really hitting like one subject at a time, that's because that's the way the movie was. It was 
all over the place, everywhere. Everywhere at one time, and then also nowhere. A lot of it, like 90% of it, was the relationship between Star-Lord and uh, Ego, his dad. But then you have like little story arcs of characters like the gold people. Like they literally served the purpose of coming in, messing crap up, and then booking it. They were in and they were out. And they really didn't serve much purpose except for like action sequences. And most of the movie was, uh, pretty difficult to follow along with. But with all that said, there was amazing action sequences, there was amazing comedy, there, nobody in the theater didn't laugh. There was at least one time in this movie that everybody laughed. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, and it was an amazing, amazing time. The theater was loud with laughter because of a lot of these scenes, but like I said, a lot of the movie was laughter. And I gotta say, some of the jokes just dragged on and on and on. And I'm like, are we still here? Are we still on the same topic? Hey, but the soundtrack was cool, right? I thought so. So if you're into sitcoms about superheroes that has a little bit of action, um, it's kind of all over the place, like, has a lot of ADD packed into the movie, um, and it's kind of difficult to follow along with. If you're into like a lot of like family, <laughs> a lot of uh, story arcs driven by like the emotion of family, family, and just like a lot of meaning behind that. If you're into if you're into Marvel movies, you're gonna love the movie. I'll tell you, you're gonna love this movie. I loved the movie. I did have to give an honest critique though because there were a few things that just. It stood out for me, and I wanted to love the movie, and I did love the movie, it's just, I didn't feel right only talking about the good things. The first one was just everything. So, it was a great movie for what it was. It wasn't really much like the first, like, charm-wise. It had all the characters, it had some of the storylines brought back. It was very different from the first. I will leave it at that. It just seemed so rushed. Like, it really seemed like it was like, we need to get this and we need to get this and we need to get this in, and we have such a set time to do it, we have to do this quick, but I don't think that they really had a deadline, did they? Did Was it something that they had to just rush out? Because that's what it felt like, and I don't know. It just it felt very rushed to me. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Did you enjoy the movie? Like I said, I enjoyed it for certain aspects, and I just it fell short with me for other aspects. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go see the movie. I highly recommend it. Just know going into it, that it's not gonna be what you're expecting. And if it is what you're expecting, good, good, that's awesome, that's great. But to me, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, but that's not to say that it wasn't good. All right guys, my name is Burning Goes Rar. I make new videos every single Tuesday and Friday. This is a special day on a Monday, but I figured why not get three videos out for you this week. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when I upload a brand new Disney video. Here's two videos that I picked out especially for you, and I leave you with peace, love, unity, and respect. Bye guys.